My daughter Isabella and I, we're on a kick. We've been eating a lot of dark chocolate nut bars, you know, the kind you get in the health food aisle. Well, when I started reading the side label and saw all the ingredients were pretty much hard to pronounce, I decided to make my own. Wow, these are awesome. And it's a great little pick-me-up midday. On this episode of Cook This, I'm making homemade sea salt dark chocolate nut bars. Hey guys, I'm Shireen. So first to get started on our nut bars, you wanna take a good quality chocolate. You can find them in chocolate chips, you could find them in little wafers, but definitely start with a good quality. Don't cheat yourself. And we're gonna do it old fashioned way. Let's melt it in the microwave, two minutes. All right, our chocolate is perfect. Can you get in here and see this? Oh, love chocolate. So this is extra dark chocolate. So now just the residual heat, you just wanna stir it until all of it is melted. All those little chips are melted. So it only took two minutes in the microwave. Look at that. And you know, I'm gonna be licking this spoon afterwards. I can't let that chocolate go to waste. All right, so in a quarter sheet tray, what you wanna do is, I just put a, some double-sided tape underneath so that way our wax paper stays intact. And now we're just gonna pour it over top the wax paper and then with an offset spatula, just smooth it over so we're gonna have a thin layer. This is the bottom and the beginning of our bars. It's the bottom layer. All right, so our chocolate is set to the side. Now that everything that holds this together, our sweetness. So we're gonna heat a sauce pot over high heat. Then you just wanna spray a half cup measuring spray. So nonstick cooking spray is your friend for this recipe because the honey is so sticky. It's just the best way to release it from your cup, to release it from your bowl. I'm actually gonna spray the bowl. I'm gonna spray our spatula. I'm even gonna spray my fingertips because we're gonna get in there and layer all of the nuts. We have oats, we have some sunflower seeds, and we'll get them all mixed together. All right, so first in our pot, we're gonna cook some honey and white corn syrup. And we just wanna bring it to a candy stage, the softball stage. So you're gonna want a candy thermometer, and then it will just read 140 degrees. It'll take about four to five minutes. So with these bars, you can pronounce every ingredient that's in them, and you can customize it the way you like. If you wanna add some cranberries, if you wanna add some cashews, make them your own. All right, so there's our white corn syrup. So we're just gonna bring it to a boil. All right, now for the nut mixture. So this is what's gonna pull these bars together. I have old fashioned rolled oats, some peanuts. So these are salted peanuts almonds, whole almonds. I have salted sunflower seeds. And then some puff rice. You could also use puff barley. And that's it. Again, you could totally customize this and make it your own. I already sprayed the bowl with some nonstick cooking spray. So that way when we add our mixture and we are there, we are like two degrees shy. So you want it to be 240 degrees. All right, so I sprayed the bowl, I sprayed the spatula, and now I'm gonna spray my fingertips. All right, because we're gonna work quick. We have our chocolate prepped right on our sheet tray. And we are good to go, so 240 degrees. Now we're just gonna pour it right into the bowl. gooey gooey and this is what's going to give it that nice sweetness and you have that honey in there it's going to give it even more of a delicious sort of laurel note this is so delicious and again customize it make it your own add some cranberries if you want raisins whatever your favorite nuts are your favorite grains so now see we're just going to keep tossing it until all of our ingredients are evenly coated 
with the honey and the corn syrup. So that corn syrup, I know, it's not the healthiest thing. However, it does give it a beautiful, gorgeous shine and sheen, and we want that. And it pulls it together along with the honey. Okay, I think we're good to go. Now we're just gonna put it right on top of our chocolate mixture. And then we're just gonna evenly smooth it out. So just take your spatula, and obviously I sprayed my fingers. I'm gonna just use my fingers, push it down. And then I have another little trick for you that's gonna help out really great. You wanna take a one cup measuring cup and spray the bottom of that. And then we're gonna push it down and form our bars. So this gives us our perfect shape. All right, so you just wanna press down the top, make sure it's nice and even. So this is gonna make about 16 bars. And although you should never count calories, but I was so curious, how many calories was, are these bars? I came up with about 210 calories, not bad. Looks great, right? I'm gonna sprinkle a little sea salt right on top and then get it into our refrigerator. So 30 minutes in the refrigerator just to set the chocolate, just to set our nut mixture. That way we can cut it. If you put it in any further than that, then it becomes too difficult to cut. So 30 minutes, that's all it needs. Our nut bars were in the refrigerator for 30 minutes, just enough to set the chocolate, but yet still easy enough and pliable to cut. So you wanna cut it lengthwise in half, and then we'll cut it crosswise in half again, and then divide each square into four equal sections, giving you 16 bars. All right, just a little bit more sea salt on top. Look how beautiful. You can do this, this is so easy. Make them your own, make them homemade, and you can pronounce every ingredient in them. They're healthy, they're delicious. I think you're really gonna love these. For this recipe, go to the newspaper's website and visit me on Facebook and Twitter for more culinary tips. I'm Shireen with Cook This, thanks for watching. See you next week.